Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I want to show you how you could add light trays, light leaks, and lens flare in your photo. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the romantic city of Paris, France, living here in Los Angeles, California. And I came up with a new pack of goodies that you can use in Photoshop. I work with this project with another great designer and he created amazing light rays, light leaks and lens flare that you can use in your photo. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add this. You will see it's going to add a little je ne sais quoi, a little thing in your photo that's just going to make your photo go to the next level. Check it out. All right, guys, I'm very excited to show you this new pack with light rays, light leaks and lens flare and how you can apply this to your photo. So first of all, how to install it? Well, let me show you. When you uh, purchase the package, you're going to get basically three different directories. So this one, you're going to get the light rays and brushes. You're going to get the light leaks and bokeh and the lens flare and brushes. And the way it works is that uh, for every light rays or light leaks or lenses, you get two options. One is just a brush set. And all you have to do to install it, you just simply double click on it and boom, it's installed and I'll show you how. Or you're going to get a whole bunch of image, but I advise you to use the image with the library module and I'm going to show you how. So for example, I'm going to take, because I've not installed it yet, the lens flare and brushes on this computer. So I'm going to go to the, so you have two options. As I said, you can double click on, on the action brush and it's installed, or you can import a flare image. It takes a bit more time, but the quality is better because with brushes, you don't get color. With flare, you get colors and these are very natural flares. Uh, so. I'm going to select them all. Oh, sorry, no, actually, I'm going to go to File, Open in Photoshop. I'm going to take the lens flare and brushes. I'm going to see all the images and I'm going to select them all by clicking the first one and the last one. It's just because I want to put them in my library and they will be there forever. So Photoshop is going to open every single file into a tab, but that's going to go very fast because not heavy files. Okay, and then the next thing you need to do is you have your library module open. Now, if you don't have, so that only works if you get Photoshop CC. If you don't have, I'll show you another way around it that you can do uh, if you don't have Photoshop CC. But if you have Photoshop CC, it's really cool. Because what you can do is, uh, if you don't have the library module, just go to Windows Libraries, make sure it's open. So I have it open here. So I'm going to create a new library, create a new library. I'm going to call it Lens Flare. Okay, and that's something you need to do only once forever. And then I'm, I'm going to take my move tool. I'm going to click on the first lens flare. I'm going to drag and drop it in that library. And that's going to go up in the cloud. And now I will have access on all my Adobe products. This lens flare will be available for Adobe Premiere, After Effects, uh, even some of the apps and Photoshop. So now what I can do is press Command W to close this, this window. And then I do the next one, C Command W to close this window. And you just keep on doing that. So I'm going to put this on acceleration so it, I don't bore you. All right, so now it's done. So it takes, you know, about two minutes and you do it one forever. I have not figured out a way to put them all in the library at once. Uh, that's the only way I found to, to do it, but I love using libraries and I've been using it over. This is where I have all my textures, my sky, my lens flare. Uh, you know, all these little things that I can add. So let me show you how I can use it. So this is the lens flare. I'm not going to use this one first, but I'm going to use the uh, uh, the light rays. Okay, that's the light rays, and I want to do something here. So I, this is a photo of the Antelope Canyon and that I shot, but I don't know if you know this, but the light of beans you can get with the dust is only in May, and I went there in December. So I want to cheat and see if I can add this very easily. So... The good thing with the library module is that, uh, you know, once you have something, you can just click and drag it and you kind of see it, you know, it's, it's a good preview. So you click and drag and boom, you have it there. Now, let's say you don't have the library module or you don't want to have it in your library module for some reason. Uh, I'll show you another way uh, to uh, get it in. Let me just press this enter. You can also just use your finder. And so I'm going to go for light rays, images. Um, I'm going to put them into... Uh, this so I can see what I'm doing and then I can just you know find the one that I like let's see if, if I can want it I mean the, the thumbnail are, are, are smaller but yeah that's the same one and I can just go and drag it into the image so it's you know it's just you have to know where they are on your hard drive it's kind of you know 
it's a little bit of a not an easy way once it's in your library module it's there okay so isn't that beautiful all the light rays are on a black background now if you don't know this but in photoshop if you change the blending mode to screen black becomes transparent and now you you got a light ray. and look at this light ray this light ray is interesting because it's got a lot of dust which is exactly what you would get if you would go and shoot it in may so uh, i'm going to position it right I find that this beam is too much, so you can just click here, you know, uh, take a brush, B for brush, uh, black as your foreground layer, and just well, make sure it's 100% opacity. And I'm just going to make a mask. Remember, uh, black conceals what reveals something, just a little mask, so I only have the rays there. But, you know, I, th I find it's, it's good, but it's not strong enough, so let me try this one. I'm going to drag and drop this one, put this one into screen mode, you know, and... Uh, Maybe I get it there, make it bigger. And sometimes I find that some of the light rays are, are a little too definite, like you see too much light rays. So in this case, you can go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you can just you know blur it a little bit to uh, make it more realistic if you find it doesn't fit your photo. Um, let's see here, preview. Yeah, not enough, I wanna blur it more. Not that much, but yeah, something like this, good. So now I got, you know, I got this one and I got this one. And actually more you put more, it kind of looks kind of realistic. I'm going to add this one, uh, which I'm going to put. So put it in the screen right when the, you know where it is. And if you hold down the, the uh, shift and alt key, you can make them bigger by the center. So I can make this like this, for example, you know, and I think, yeah, it's a little too definite. So I'm going to go to filter, Gaussian blur. I'm going to use... Uh, a similar value to what I did, something like this. Okay, and uh, let's see what else I can use. Maybe this one. All right, same idea. I'm gonna make this one much bigger. And you can deform them however you want. I'm gonna press enter, put them in screen mode. You know, you get the idea. Oops. Okay, yeah. Uh, v for the move tool to move it around. Yeah, something like this. I think I want to command T to go back into the command T and make it bigger. And, you know, the light rays are really strong in, in the Antelope Canyon. And so, you know, it's just a cool way to uh, add that little thing, you know, and I love the, like the dust in the air or something like this. Okay. I like that. That's good. So, and now what I can do is, you know, I would spend more time, but I'm trying to go fast. I'm going to select all these layers and I'm going to press, or you can right click. Let's not use the shortcuts and um, group from layers. I'm, so I'm gonna make a group that I'm gonna call light rays. And now I have a group here with all light rays. So that's the before and that's the after. You can lower the opacity of the group if you want, if it's too strong or what, but I like it strong. I like it strong because it's really very strong, uh, you know, when it's there. Okay, uh, let me show you another example. This is a photo I shot in Paris. You know, I wish it would be like more light rays coming from the side. So let's see what can we put. This could be good. This one, so same thing, screen, and you can rotate it to make it fit. You know, uh, I like that. I'm gonna fake that it comes from over there and that it goes here. So uh, I'm gonna press enter. And you know what, this time I'm gonna do the mask on the group itself to go faster. Let's see here, maybe uh, this one, I'm gonna drag and drop it, reverse it, screen mode, you know, and okay, yeah doesn't really match the direction. Let's see if I can match it. No, this one's good. So if you don't like it, just click and drag and you just give it a shot. You know, maybe use the one with the dust. I like this dust one, it's really cool. But you know, I might just use some of the dust here. So I'm gonna put a big one here, put it into screen mode. And uh, so I just have dust. Okay, well, you know, on this one, actually wanna make sure I wanna do a little filter. I wanna make sure it goes here and it doesn't go here. Uh, voila. Okay, let's find. Like, try not to use twice the same one just to have variety in your project. Okay, this one I kind of think is cool. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Voila. Put it into screen mode. And, you know, Command T to place it. Something like this. And voila, make a mask erase so that it's really coming from over there i'm going to erase there i really only only want it in the back you know actually i'm going to make a mask for everyone i think it's better to make a mask for everyone than to make on the group you have more control 
something like this and um so now we've got like nice rays i think the dust is too strong so uh if you want to if you want if you think the dust is too strong i'll give you a couple of tricks instead of blurring it you can go to filter um you can go to filter noise dust and scratch and then you can you can basically well you see it erase all the dust so uh let's make it smaller i want some of this dust that's lower the threshold uh, let's see if that's gonna work. L lower the radius. I just want, yeah. You see now I erase some of the dust. Let me see the before and the after. I actually don't like it. You know, it just it's a trial and error process. I, I, I rather do that. What you can do if it's using is too much is you can go here. You take a brush. You lower the opacity of the brush. By lowering the opacity of the brush, you're just you know randomly you you you're decreasing the number of dust, but you're doing it. Uh, it's more organic. Okay. I want some dust, but not all that dust. So, you know, you have to adapt. Once you're, and let's say you want to colorize it to make it more yellow, what you can do is, and what I do usually is I just select all three, right click, I'm oh, sorry, you have to right click on uh, uh, select all three, right click, uh, maybe in the middle. Well, I use a Command E. Command E is going to blend everything, okay, but it's going to look weird, so you have to put it back into screen mode. And now that you've blended, you can press Command U, Command U. And you can go to colorize, and boom, it's going to colorize in yellow. Uh, and if you don't remember Command U, I'm going to do Command Z to undo. You can go to image, adjustment, U and saturation. You see it says Command U or Control U on Windows. You just click on it, click on colorize. By default, it's going to be on the yellow color. Usually it's spot on. If you, th if you want a different color, you can just change the U. Uh, but I like the yellow. I like the yellow. You can make it more yellow, less yellow, you know, however you want it. Okay. And voila, before and and after. It's going to, you know, add. And then I can always add another mask. And I think there's too much dust here. Increase the opacity of my brush. Remember, black conceals, white reveals. Voila. And it's you'll see it's so fun to do. And I bl when you start using that on your photo and posting it and posting it on Instagram, you'll see the, the result that you're going to get. Okay, let's do this one really quickly. Uh, maybe this here. So remember screen mode uh, and then I'm gonna make it here make it big make it everywhere okay I'm gonna make it like this uh, and then you mask B for brush you brush out what you don't need you know okay let's make another one so it's different let's like this screen mode let's see here something like this you get the idea. Okay, make uh, you know, make a little mask, and I really advise you to use several ones. I think it's kind of cool. This one is can can be cool. It's got dust in it, uh, and you just you know, it's a trial and error process. I'm gonna make sure the rays are the same direction, something like this. You know, make a mask. And there's a few shortcuts in Photoshop which are really useful. One is Command G to make a group. I like to, you know, just click here, boom, Command G, and boom, you got a group. So before, after. Okay, so that's the light rays. Let me show you uh, something else. That's my daughter Marine. I wanted to add something to make it cool, so I'm going to use the other package, which is the light leaks. Okay, and I wanted to add some light leaks around her, like something like this, for example. I'm going to drag and drop it. Same idea. You go into screen mode, and boom, you know. So that's kind of like one version of it. It's got you know, it's got brown on the side. You know, I can move it here. You can you can distort it as much as you want, because it's very um, it you know it doesn't have details. It's very fuzzy. So fuzzy things. So that's one idea. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try um, uh, adding some brown on one side. Okay, I'm going to turn that. Uh, so I'm going to put this into screen mode, screen mode, and um, maybe rotate it. Same idea. So I, let me just press it. And I want to try another version. So I'm going to take this one off, go back to this one. Command T to go back to this one. Command T is where you, you know, you get back into being able. Okay, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to maybe put some blue uh, on the other side. So I'm going to rotate that, uh, maybe like this. Or not like this. 
uh, yeah, like this. And then I'm gonna I want to right click and flip vertical so it's at the bottom. Yeah, I like that. And don't forget to put it into screen mode. Screen mode. You know you can lower the opacity of it. So then you know like blue on the right side, warm on the white side. That's one idea. So you know select Command G to put it before after. That's one version. That's another version. Just got you know and just play around with it. It's really cool. Let me show you another example with the last package which is the um, lens flare. So I shot this photo in Joshua National Park with my good friend Emric Labar. Let me see, I wanted to add, to make it even more punchy, I want to add a lens flare. Boom, crazy lens flare. So remember, you go into screen mode, Command T to position it, Shift and Alt to make it smaller if you need to, or you can just move this around without Shift and Alt and make it how you want it. Okay, I'm going to make it there. I think it's too definite, so I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and, you know, not that much. I just want to blur a little bit, you know, like this. And voila, it's kind of crazy, but it's already a crazy image to start with. You know, we we were, that what happened is we were in the desert shooting the Milky Way, and all of a sudden this guy came with this amazing uh, laser saber from Star Wars. And I was like, oh my God, we got to try something. with. So I said, Emery, go over there and, you know, do the thing. So, you know, I can lower the opacity if it's too much, but you get the idea. It's just going to, you know, it's actually, it's, it's one of my favorite photos uh, of, of last year. I really loved it. Anyway, you get the idea. So, guys, I'm going to give you some of this package for free. So, you can just try. All you have to do is click the link under the video. It's, it's going to connect you to a messenger. Uh, and then on messenger, you can get it. If you don't have messenger, we have another link for it. Check it out. So, you can get some of it for free. Play around in Photoshop with it. And then... Uh, but you can get all of this. This is 120 flare lens for a very, very little price. Check out the offer that we have uh, done below, below the video. And voila, I hope you like this. You know, you don't have to buy it if you don't want to. You can just get the free ones or you can buy it and take your photo to a whole new level. All right, guys, leave me a comment of some of the work you did. Uh, you know, either on YouTube, you can post a link of Instagram or just use the hashtag photo search on Instagram and do, you know, use this package, do some of the stuff. I want to see what you come up with, with the lens flare, the light rays. I think it's so easy to use. And believe me, believe me, believe me, uh, you're going to get a lot more attraction. I know it's cheating a little bit, but you know, some photos I spend hours retouching and sometimes they don't get any notification at all. And sometimes I just do two things on it. You know, it takes me five seconds and I get a lot of attraction from it. You know, I don't care whether you have a lot of retouching or not. What I do care is do people like your stuff or not. That really, that's the only thing that matters to me. So give it a shot and see how you're going to do on 500px and how you're going to do on Instagram. You will be surprised. Mesdames and Messieurs, we'll see you in another episode.